everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and here's a special video for you. Well, today's video is about children. I love talking about children and uh, I want to tell young parents one thing that when you are growing up with your child, always say beautiful, nice things about your child. Never say, even when you are talking to a teacher or to a friend or to your parent or to anyone, never say that your child is naughty, bodmas or intolerable or doing pranks or doing things that you just cannot bear. Well, let me tell you one thing. If children do not have fun and if children are not naughty now, so when are they going to be naughty? When they are 60? No. They are going to be naughty exactly at the age when they are supposed to be. And this is part of their growing up. So we were all naughty once upon a time. I, st I still remember when I was a child, I was a little girl and I was very naughty and I was having a lot of fights with my cousin. My mother would prop me up in uh, around four pillows and she'd make me write. So probably my writing has come from that and I thank her for that because um, I do a lot of writing now and I thank my mother for punishing me in that particular way. So we were all naughty at one point of time and I think uh, being naughty is a child's right. It's a part of being a child, it's a part of growing up and it's part of having fun. Because how would the child have stories uh, that you would speak about later that, you know what, you did this as a little kid of uh, six years old or five years old or three years old, this is what you did. But then if the child does not have any stories and if you are expecting the child to be just a, you know, very grown up kind, very serious kind, well, then you, it's not going to happen like that. Children are going to be naughty. Children are going to shout and scream and they're going to play pranks. They're going to break stuff in the house. And you must be prepared for that because if you have given birth to a child, that child is going to grow from one stage to the next and one stage to the next. See, I can hear some children. They are shouting outside and I love the sound of little children uh, shouting and screaming and uh, playing, their, playing their games. Now, uh, uh, well, what I was saying that you should, you should never ever say derogatory words about your child. Never, ever. Because when you start saying derogatory things about your child, what that child grows up to understand is that the child is naughty anyway. Okay, so I'm naughty. When, if somebody keeps saying that you're naughty, you're naughty, you're naughty. So I'm going to come and understand that yes, I am a naughty child. I am a naughty girl. So I will grow up to do naughty things. And if I do anything naughty, so I'm going to understand that, okay, fine. My mother calls me naughty. She keeps telling me that I am naughty all the time. And if I do this other piece of naughtiness now, it's okay. I am naughty. She's just going to shout and scream at me, punish me and that's all. But then if you keep telling your child that you're the best, you're so awesome, you're superb, you my goodness, I have never seen such a wonderful child. So talented, my God, you're so intelligent. All these words, if you're going to use with your child, your child is going to grow up to be very, very strong in the mind, in the heart, in the soul. And that little child is going to grow up to understand that the child is very good, actually. Because if you're going to constantly reprimand a child by saying that child is bodmas, bodmas, naughty, naughty, intolerable, that uh, child is this and that and all, the child is going to ultimately go and say, okay, fine, I am this. I am naughty, I am bad, I am, uh, I am not uh, uh, kept in high regards by my parents. My parents call me this name and that name. And so the person also will grow up to be somebody without any respect for, for his own self, for his or her own self. So it is important that as a child, as a parent, you have to nurture that child and you have to make that child into a healthy, healthy adult so that that adult will have good relationships in the future because what kind of relationship a child has with the parents matters a lot in the future about the kind of relationships he or she is going to have with the rest of the world you have to nurture that that feeling that the child is very good that the child is excellent the child is kind and loving and honest and all kinds of things you have to make the child your best friend 
Now I keep telling my son that my son is my best friend. You know, I always today also I was talking to him and I said that you know what I speak so many different kinds of things with you. I have so many different topics that I discuss with you that I don't even discuss all this with anybody, not even with my husband. And uh, so he 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 finds it very he he I think he finds it. Uh, he feels very proud of the fact that I speak so many things in, with him, and he feels very good that uh, his mother divulges so many things with him. We talk about finance, about economics, about relationships, about school, about business, about Bitcoin, about my business, about I'm the best, about so many different things. And we, he takes care of groceries, he takes care of finance, and he's just fourteen. So. Somebody was saying, "My goodness, you've given him so much of leverage. You've given him so much of space. That is because he's my best friend. That is because he has made me his best friend. I always keep telling him that I am his first girlfriend. So we go out on these uh, dates together. We have lunch dates, and we go out for movie dates, and we go out for all different kinds of things. So." When you make your child, whether it's your girl child or your boy child, you when you make that child your best friend, you will have the most beautiful relationship. I promise you that. But then, if you start acting as a parent and you are going to constantly reprimand that child in a domineering, dominating manner, then you are going to have a relationship like that. But if you turn into friends. You will realize that you have the most beautiful relationship, and you'll have so much fun. You need to come down to their level. You, you know, you just don't need to be a parent all the time. You need to come down to their level. Start playing games with them. Show interest in what they are showing. Maybe it's a video game. Maybe it's a meme. Anything, because my son shows me some weird memes, which he thinks he knows that I'm not going to laugh because I'm old school, and he's going to say, "I know you're not going to laugh, but still, let me show you this." And I have a good laugh because it's really not funny, and I find it funny that I'm not being able to laugh about it. So we have great fun, and he knows about it. He has enough study about all these things, and uh, we have great fun. And that is why I made this video for parents like you and me. that uh, we need to become we need to become very good friends with our child so that that child becomes a citizen of the world a very good citizen of the world and what what is our duty as parents is to actually give them the support we are not supposed to be we are not supposed to be fulfilling our dreams through them no it's not like that we are supposed to be nurturing these young minds and uh, to create a world that is very beautiful so i will i will suggest that to all parents that if you want to become good friends if you want to have a very healthy happy child and a loving and kind child then you have to nurture uh, the child in that manner so that that child grows up to have a very healthy idea about his or her own self you shouldn't be giving them an idea that they are naughty and all those things you know we are not going to talk about that so the minute you utter those words make sure you become mindful and don't say those words at all just be very mindful and stop yourself from saying any derogatory words about your child at all please from today henceforth just stop yourself from saying anything derogatory because you know we keep in meditation we keep saying that we need to have positive affirmations positive affirmations yes we do it for ourselves but what about our children why aren't we not having these positive affirmations for our children as well we need to have those positive affirmations for our children so that they grow up to be healthy happy loving kind giving empathetic all those words should be encircled around your child so that you will be happy to see that child that wow this is my child i'm so happy to actually be the parent of this beautiful child So on that happy note I'm going to say bye to all of you. I hope uh, this video helps uh, some of the parents because most of the parents call me up and they say that their child is naughty and all that. I stop them there then and there and I say that uh, stop saying these words. Start saying positive words. Um some of you might be refuting and saying that positive words don't help because my son and daughter is like really really naughty. It doesn't happen like that. And for All these problems if you need more advice I'm always there to help you I'm always there I'm always around my number is always available so if you as a parent want to talk want to take some 
sessions with me on parenting, on how to have healthy children and uh, make them grow into wonderful adults. I'm there. I am there always. You can count on me. So if you like this video, do share it and do, do pass it on and do subscribe to my channel because I bring these special videos only for you. Love you and take care.